Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today what we got for you are some of the best execution cutscenes within the Grand Theft Auto series. And there's a difference between normal deaths and executions because executions for the most part are predetermined cutscenes that appear for just certain characters and certain instances in the GTA series. And there's tons of them. I'm only going to cover about 10 of them in this video. So uh, if I don't cover one of your favorites, be sure to let me know what it is down below in the comments. If you enjoy the video and feel it's worthy of a like, then also feel free to click that thumbs up button. But I do want to also say that executions were first implemented in GTA Vice City. There was one in San Andreas, but they didn't really become a thing until Grand Theft Auto 4. That game features the most executions out of any GTA game. And then GTA 5, well, they briefly appear in this game. So, like I said, most of them are going to come from GTA 4, but I hope that's not a big deal. Hopefully, you guys still find the video enjoyable. And with that said, here we are with some of the best executions in the Grand Theft Auto series. Number 10, Dwayne Forge. He's one of the coolest characters in Grand Theft Auto 4. And in the mission, The Holland Play, we are prompted with the choice to either kill Playboy X or Dwayne Forge. And Playboy X and Dwayne go way back. Dwayne was actually Playboy's mentor, taught him a lot about gangbanging, running the streets, drug trade, and things like that. And Playboy, in his rise to power, decides that Dwayne needs to be taken care of because he's talking and he doesn't want to risk Dwayne having Playboy X killed. So what does he do? Well, he eliminates his best friend. This is a guy he's known for years. And he doesn't want to do it himself. He's a coward. So he has Nico do this job for him. And out of all the years that I've played GTA 4, I have never killed Dwayne up until just me recording this clip right here. I've never been able to do it. I just feel so bad about it. So what we do is we go into Dwayne's apartment, we kill a crackhead, and then we kill Dwayne. We're prompted with the execution cutscene. It's pretty sad because Nico can't even look at Dwayne when he kills him. And the worst part about it is Playboy X told us to kill Dwayne, so once we kill him, we get a call from Playboy, and he's mad, and he says that Nico and him can't be friends anymore because he killed his best friend. Fuck you, man. You a fucking snake like the rest of them. I put Dwayne out of his misery. You did what you had to do, Nico. You got yourself that money. Good for you. You want me to come around? You took down Dwayne, Nico. I see your face. I see the cat that killed my mentor. Dwayne was like a father to me. I can't be around you no more. It's over between us. Now, I don't want no beef, but now you and me got some. So it's best if we just stay the hell away from each other, man. Number nine, Eddie Pulowski. And man, I tell you, I was super glad to finally get rid of this loudmouth, trash-talking, great value Brock Lesnar-looking dude. I hated this guy throughout the game. I hated the way he talked to CJ. And in the mission High Noon, way out in the desert after CJ retrieves a dossier for Officer Tim Penny, Tim Penny drives off. CJ is left to dig a grave. And while doing so, a chase actually ensues, and the trash talking Eddie Pulowski finally gets chased down, dragged out of his car, shot, and killed. And this is where a cutscene appears where CJ asked Pulowski, hey, you have any last words? And Pulowski's last words were, yeah, can I f your sister? And this is where it shows a first-person view of Pulowski and CJ basically curb-stomping this dude in with his foot. <coughs> yeah, well, them's the brakes, fuck. Any last requests? Yeah. <laughs> can I fuck your sister? You an asshole to the end, punk motherfucker. Number eight, Teddy Benavidez. He's actually a minor character who really has no significance to the GTA 4 storyline other than the fact that I guess he was friends with Ray Bacino at one point. He owed him money and he refused to pay up. So Ray hires Nico to kill this guy in the mission A Long Way to Fall where we work our way to the top of this apartment complex and... Uh, we end up on the roof, and Teddy ends up just backing up slowly to an area where some bricks are uh, just kind of falling down, and that's where we're prompted to execute this guy, and we shoot him, and he backs up, and he falls, I don't know how many stories this is, maybe 10 or 15 stories, to his death. Ah! 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 
Number seven, Michael DeSanta. We all know who this guy is. One of the three protagonists of GTA 5. And in the inning, we've got three choices. A, kill Trevor. B, kill Michael. And C, Death Wish, where everybody lives. And if you choose option B, kill Michael, you're going to load up the mission, The Times Come, where Franklin chases down Michael after this chase ensues. They end up on top of this platform where a uh, argument is taking place a fight breaks out and franklin ends up pushing michael over this rail and they're pretty high up in the air and he catches michael and it's e either save michael or let him go because you're holding him by his hand and regardless he dies either way i chose to save him and when you do that michael gets up he headbutts franklin causing franklin to let go and michael ultimately falls to his death michael let's just fuck you Hey, you told me when the time came. Uh, I know. I'm sorry. Number six, Departure Time. This is actually the last mission in The Ballad of Gay Tony. And... We actually, in a way, execute Ray Bulgarin. So after tearing up the Funland looking for Ray, we find out that he's at the airport fixing to flee town and fly out of Liberty City. And we catch up to him on a motorcycle on the runway, and we actually jump inside the airplane. We take out some of his goons, and then out of the cockpit emerges Ray Bulgarin. He's got a grenade in his hand, and he says, Hey, if you shoot me, this grenade's going to go off and blow this plane up. Louis says, well, guess what? I'm going to take my chances. And he actually executes Ray Bulgarin by shooting him in the chest point blank with this gun. And once Ray dies, the grenade falls out, the pin pops, and of course, the airplane explodes. And this is one of the coolest cutscenes in all of the Grand Theft Auto series, in my opinion. I love how we see the plane explode. And then once we are parachuting out of the plane, well, we actually see the smoke trail as the plane spirals downward into the water. Number five, Billy Gray. He was the president of the Liberty City Lost MC chapter. And after being set up and taken to prison, he actually starts talking to the cops. He starts snitching on people. And in the mission Get Lost, Johnny actually breaks into the prison alongside his brothers in the Lost MC to execute Billy Gray. And upon his execution cut scene, uh, we're talking to Billy. He's saying, hey, what do you want? Some kind of speech because I'm not going to give it to you. Just get it over with. And then he tries to pull out a knife and lunge at Johnny. And this is where Johnny actually caps him or just pops him in the chest. And Billy falls down, looks at Johnny, and then he dies. Do it! I'm doing it! <laughs> what? You waiting for a speech or something? Come on! <laughs> Number four, Aiden O'Malley. He's another one of those minor characters within GTA 4 that has an executable cutscene. And Aiden O'Malley was a drinking buddy to Derek McCreary at one point, but Aiden is actually in prison. He's snitching, he's naming people off, and Derek McCreary is one of those guys that he's afraid he's gonna name. And Derek doesn't want to go to jail. He's terrified. He's a junkie. He couldn't last a single day in prison. So... Uh, he finds out that Aiden O'Malley is actually being escorted to a different prison, and while doing so, it's his chance to take this guy out. So, Packy and Nico end up hijacking this escort, killing all the police officers, and taking Aiden O'Malley to these cliffs out by the water. And Aiden thinks that we are busting him out of prison so he can be free, and he asks, hey, who put you up to this? And Packy says, my brother, Derek McCreary. And then he says, Nico get rid of this guy. So we pull out our gun, we are prompted with the flashing crosshairs, and we execute this guy, and we see him just tumble down to his death off of a cliff onto some rocks into the water. And this is in the mission Tunnel of Death, for those of you wondering. And I will say this reminds me a lot of the mission in GTA 5 where we kill Devin Weston by pushing him off of a cliff in his own personal vehicle. Ah! 
Number three, Trevor Phillips. Don't think we forgot about him. We've talked about Michael, but if you actually choose option A, the mission, something is sensible will load up where Franklin has to chase down Trevor and inevitably take him out. So we chase him into the oil fields. Michael T-bones Trevor's vehicle and he hits a... Uh, oil tanker truck something like that all this oil or gas spills out basically and we are prompted to put trevor down and i always find that weird that the game says put trevor down treating him like he is an animal almost even though he's a human being and anyways we execute trevor by shooting him which causes all this gas or oil around him to catch fire and burn trevor alive ah, 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 ah. <laughs> number two diaz this is in vice city and this is actually the first execution to ever appear within the gta series so in the mission rub out lance and tommy break into diaz compound to kill diaz we take out all his goons and when we finally get to diaz and take him out a cutscene appears where Tommy and Lance roll up on Diaz and then it switches to a first person view from Diaz pretty much and we see some guns in our face and then the screen goes black because Diaz is executed. I would have had you made. Say goodnight, Mr. Diaz. And finally, number one, we've got Darko Brevik or Brevich in the mission That Special Someone. And in my opinion, this is one of the best cutscenes in the GTA series of all time. It's definitely a very emotional mission. It just, it, it captures pretty much everything about GTA 4. So Darko is this guy who sold out Nico and his squad in their home country during their war that was going on. And everyone that Nico knew was killed because of this guy who sold them out for one thousand dollars he's a junkie he has nothing left in his life and we are given the option to either execute him or let him live personally i can feel nico's anger and wanting to execute this guy but really the best thing to do is let this guy live and suffer in his own agony because he doesn't want to be alive anymore but if we do choose to execute him he will be shot i believe like 13 times and it's a very gory and gruesome scene you see the bullet holes and it's it's just a very crazy uh, emotional scene that plays out <laughs> However, with that said, that's actually my personal list of some of the best execution cutscenes within the GTA series. Like I said at the beginning, uh, if I didn't cover one of these executions that you guys felt I should have, be sure to let me know which one it is down below in the comments section. I read through every single comment. If you're still here and you did find the video enjoyable, give it a thumbs up. Let's break 2,000 likes. Also, subscribe and turn on those notifications to never miss out on another daily video game upload. And with that said, my name is Zach Cox. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I will see you all in the next video.